One side says, cut spending, cut spending. Another side says, no cuts, no cuts. Who's right? We spend each year about $525 billion preparing for war, including $170 billion to keep U.S. troops in 177 other nations. Beyond the $525 billion, there's $89 billion on actual war, including a war in Afghanistan we describe as ending over a period of two years. Above and beyond these expenses, we spend $53 billion on spying and spy agencies that kill people with drones, $19 billion on nuclear weapons and $7 billion on arming other nations. The United States spends more on its military than the rest of the world combined. Military spending produces fewer jobs than education spending, infrastructure spending, green energy spending, or even tax cuts for working people. We're not even including the State Department's mercenaries or the work the State Department does marketing U.S. weapons to foreign governments, or the drug war, or the record deportations of immigrants, or the infiltration of nonviolent activist groups by the FBI, or the militarization of local police with federal dollars. We haven't even mentioned $7 billion for prisons bloated due to the drug war, or the $42 billion for highways that dwarfs any current spending on greener transportation. We're not against cuts. We're against cuts to Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and all other useful programs. Let's get serious. Our government's not broke. It's broken. Let's build a movement to move the money where it belongs. Take action at rootsaction.org. Thank you.